Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Customs. Today is the day that I've been waiting on getting some paint on this car. I put a lot of work into this little 95 convertible and uh, hopefully this paint turns out nice and I'll have a really nice looking car when all is said and done. As you've seen from the last video, we've done all the prep work and stuff. Let me show you where we're at now and what I've done getting ready for the paint. Alright, right off the bat you can tell the everything under hood is black. Well, not everything. I basically moved a couple of things and done a quick under hood paint. Now we will go over that with some of the body color but I wanted to get that done while I had everything apart and I was over on the lift. Got all our parts sanded down. We'll have them all washed. Everything turned out pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to have a couple spots in it. Maybe I missed or whatever. Who knows? You know, like a little spot of mud right there where I had the trunk on the ground. But that's all right. We're fixing to do a lot more cleaning. And we'll get all of this taped up nice. But I'm in real hopes that she's going to turn out slick. And that this paint lays on good. Because it rained last night and it's cloudy and humid today. So we're going to be fighting the weather a little bit. But I believe once I get all the fans cranked up in here, it should get it just right. Right now it's, see, 70 degrees in here. A little over 80% humidity. Wow. Yep, going to be a fun one. Well, all these parts are just sitting on there. That's why I drove it over and washed it and drove it back real slow, real easy. So what I'm going to do is give me some uh, small table stands or something to set all my parts on. Uh, I really don't want to paint everything up and down. That's just asking for runs, especially with this humidity. I'd like everything to be laying flat as possible when I paint it. Uh, I think that would just be better for me and less chance of having a run or some kind of mess up. Well, what I'm going to do next off camera, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and get it all set up. And then I'll show y'all the prep work I do right before we get ready to shoot the paint. Alright guys, I got everything set. Yeah, just using whatever I could find. Set all my parts on. Hey, it works. We got everything taped up that we don't want to get paint on. Now I think that we got her going on pretty good. No doubt. Alright guys, we got all the fans on. Wow, 75 degrees in here, 82% of 
from the committee. But, like I say, it's going on 12, so I'm going to grab a quick lunch break and grab about the heat. While this thing is sitting here, uh, all the shop home going away. We'll come back, and the last thing we're going to do is to the tack rack, go over everything, like you see that little piece right there. Huh. Like I say, you never know. So it's good to take that tank road, just go back over everything, look real close, make sure there ain't no crash anywhere. Well, let's go take this lunch break and come back and do that. We'll start mixing the paint and get in the spray. Alright guys, I'm back. Yeah, that was a long lunch break. So actually, I decided not to paint yesterday. I took that time, cleaned up my gun, which I'll show you in a minute. Got out all my materials. Just got a better prepared. So now today's Friday. We're back at it. Next thing we're going to do is take a tag rag and go over everything. As you've seen, like when I was standing here talking before, I had a piece of trash in the uh, What I got here is a crystal brand tag cloth. And these things are sticky. It sort of feels weird in your hand. But you just rag. It's got like some, uh, I don't know what's on it. But I know that it works. And you just basically go over everything. Like I say, anything that you missed before, the tack cloth will pick it up. Alright, well, I'm going to go over all the parts of the car with this, and then we'll go outside, and we'll get ready. Alright, got her all tacked down. As y'all can see, there's still some trash on there, even after we've done the alcohol and everything. So that's why it's always good to run your tack rack across there, get the bag. What I do, I always just stick it back in the bag. Of course, I just leave them up here on the shelf at the paint booth. Get that back there. Get the shelf there with all other stuff. Yeah, now my hand is in the trap on them. Alright, let's head out here and I'll show y'all the gun I'm using. Let's get our paint mixed up because we've got everything else that's done. The compressor's been drained. And fill back up with air. This fan's been on for uh, about an hour or so. I was out here at 6 o'clock this morning. Right now it's about 7.5. Man, we still got like 85% humidity. But it's right at 70 degrees. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. So we might as well shoot this back. All right, guys, let me show you what we got going on here. Uh, my gun that I use is a Sonojet RP. This is an older gun made in Germany. But uh, I've had real good luck with this thing. And, I mean, I cleaned the dog out of it yesterday. This should be ready to rock and roll. It usually lays down some nice paint and clear for me. And products we're using are uh, Eurochem. I got these off of a uh, paint company from eBay. Uh, I think for this whole setup right here, I paid about $350 for it. We, have, we get uh, our gallon of paint, Intruder Purple. Let me flip it back around. The reason I flipped it upside down is so it'd be easier to mix. I done that yesterday. Uh, what have we got here? Slick base urethane base coat, intruder purple, intruder purple, pearl base coat. Yeah, I say that real fast several times. Of course, they give me the these reducers. This is for a paint. And then the urethane activator is for a clear. I went in and spent a little bit more. And I got the Glamour Clear Coat. 
They're really going for that shine. They sent me two sticks, two mixing cups, and a couple of filters, which ain't too terrible, but I'll always buy this box here. It's dirt cheap. You get a bunch of mixing cups, tack rags, lids, sticks, filters. I mean, a bunch of stuff. Now, this paint mixes uh, two to one. There it is. So it's real easy to mix up. Uh, I think the biggest thing is getting this gallon mixed thoroughly. So here's what I come up with. Yeah, y'all don't laugh. Yep, it's a big goofy spoon on the end of my drill, but I think that's going to work. Mix it up really well and not work me to death. All right, got my gloves. My mask is in there. I'll grab it when we go in there. Got my shoe covers on. These things are handy. Got the longest shirt I can find. Covers up the side arm and everything else. Ready to rock. Well, let's open up our paint. See how this uh, high tech mixer is going to work for us. I'm going to go ahead and I'll mix up two while I'm mixing. Ooh, that's pretty. A lot of color right there, guys. Oh yeah, I did really see that paint move in there. I think I'm on to something here. I think it's mixed up well, guys. Got a slim purple all over everything. Alright, like I say, these mix two to one as I showed you on the cut. So, fill up the cup there until we get that number eight on the bottom. And spill a toy. Well, that was not lovely. I need to be pouring things, so we just need to slow down some. Yeah, I might just get this thing painted. I'm going to wipe it a little bit better than I'm spilling. Yeah, I've already opened this and put a little plastic tab on it. Alright, that is a two to one mix, guys.
was great, and I had a lot of trouble. I saw it again once I started painting. You have a spray gun, you've got a can of paint like this, you got a nice coat of paint. Well, some of this was paint here, paint here, not much of a bit. So, I set it down, run in there, grab another brand new spray gun, cleaned it really well, and come back out here with it. It's a cheap gun. Well, all it done was, I would say, splatter sprayed it out, but I've had better patterns from the spray can. So I went and cleaned the saw jet again, come back out here, and the same thing. It wasn't because the gun's dirty, it's just it, it just sprayed that one. That's just the way it done. So I got the best coverage that I could. The problem is the paint didn't turn out smooth at all. I'm not happy with it. So what I'm going to do is just let this sit here over the weekend and cure up really well. And then we're going to take everything back over to the shop. Water sand all the best from 2000. And that should get all the roughness out of it. Then we can lay down some fleet. We're bringing it close and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here's this fender right here. Yeah, if it'll focus right. Yeah, I know there's a dent right there. No, I didn't even notice that before. Well, it is what it is. But as you can see, the paint is just not smooth. It didn't lay down smooth. I mean, it's just a uh, orange peel nightmare. Same on the hood. Pretty much the same on everything. If these parts can really see it. So we're going to have to do a lot of wet sanding with 2000 to get this thing to look like anything. And if we got a good coverage on it, so our coverage wasn't bad at all. Got a run right there. And yeah, where was it? There's a splattery spot here. It's hard to see. I can see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But yeah, the coverage is fine. It trimmed out well, no issues there. The camera just doesn't want to focus today. But, y'all can see what I was working with. Then we have bad spots like that one there. Yeah, I just can't have that. I want to just start to turn out slick. Paint laid good as far as sticking to the vehicle, but like I say, just too many imperfections to go ahead and clear it right now. So, like I said, I think it's going to sit in the booth all weekend. We'll pull it over there Monday and we'll get us 2000 and uh, we'll just pull it in the private. I do sand through a couple of places, at least I still got a quarter of a gallon of paint left. I got a new touch-up gun if you need it, but pull it out and fix a couple of bad spots. But I mean, it is what it is. I think I'll wait to a good day to do it. Maybe the humidity's too high. I don't know if my air pressure set. Recommend the level. That doesn't thing like it's supposed to. But hey, things happen. When they do, no sense get mad about it. Just deal with it. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to deal with it. A lot of water sand. Then we'll get this paint smooth. And get it ready for some clean cut. Cut all the tape. Everything taken off of it. Almost waited too long. We took a piece of tape off the uh, body sticker there. Actually peeled a little bit of the paint off. So yeah, I waited a little too long to take the tape off. It's something you need to wash. But anyway, all the tapes off of it, 
you sit here and cheer for the weekend. And then in the next video, we'll show y'all how we'll go over this thing. And like I said, West Sandy was 2000, try to get some of these imperfections out. And then we'll get the clear cut. Well, guys, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry I didn't get to paint and clear at the same time to get this property on the road being wrapped up, but I mean it is what it is. We run across problems like this, like I say, you just got to man up and deal with them. And it's a lot more extra work, but I think it really pay off long term and we'll have a nice little job. Again, thanks for watching. Put me down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on the Patreon. Please, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Until the next one, I hope that y'all have a fantastic day.